when we blow up the balloon initially it's about three to five feet in diameter so almost about as tall as some of you are and as it goes up through the atmosphere the balloon gets bigger and bigger and bigger um, the instrument that is attached to the weather balloon and then we let go of the weather balloon and it takes measurements as it ascends up through the atmosphere so this particular device measures one data point every second and it transmits that information back down to a computer that we have here in this trailer that would be lots of data it's a lot of data every second every second it sends down one measurement and it measures temperature relative humidity so right here we have two hygrometers the hygrometer measures the relative humidity or the amount of moisture in the atmosphere so as the radio sound goes up if it passes through a cloud and the cloud gets the sensors wet. The reason that we have two hygrometers is that while one is measuring, the other one is turned off and heating up and it's burning off any moisture that the radio sun is coming in contact with so that our measurements aren't biased. Okay? Um, there's also inside a pressure sensor that measures atmospheric pressure. And then it also has this twirly thing on the top, which is a GPS sensor. Does anybody know? Five things they measure. Ready? What's the first one? Temperature. Yes. Second one. Pressure. 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 Third one. Humidity. humidity. Fourth one. H2O. No, that's humidity. That's humidity. That's humidity. really good. Okay, remember, I'm going to give you a hint. I'm going to blow on her. What am I doing? I'm wind. creating. Oh, wind. Pressure. Pressure. wind speed and wind pressure. 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 Wind direction. Direction. Okay. Very we'll good. We'll get it. We'll get it. You got it. That's yes. not fine. Sir. So from the GPS, the you can get hygrometers. Longitude, longitude, and latitude, exactly, but that tells you which way the wind blew it. See? Okay, wind direction. Wind direction and wind speed. Because you're getting longitude and latitude the whole time, but let's say it moves a little bit, the wind moves it. The longitude and latitude changed, right? Mm -hmm. But you can figure out how much the wind moved it, right? Mm -hmm. So then you can figure out the wind direction and the wind speed. Mm -hmm. The radio sounds can stay in the air for approximately two hours and they can go almost 19 miles high. Oh my word! 19, 19 miles, miles high. high. Okay, so who wants to start launching a weather balloon? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah! Oh, okay. on swinging beneath the balloon? Yeah. Okay, well that happens because the the line has to let out so that the radio sun is beneath the balloon so that the balloon doesn't um, affect the sensors. So the wind speed and the wind direction are a little noisy and we go and we'll filter that data out um, during post-processing. So this collects a data point every second so you can see this line moving up, up, up as the radio sun descends up through the atmosphere. And right now we are at 11,000 feet. Oh. 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 Oh.